Okay, everyone, so I didn't feel like I needed to show y'all how to make regular spaghetti. And you all saw me make my sauce the other day. So what we're going to do now is I spiralized this zucchini with this wonderful machine I got off of Amazon. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to set this aside because the first thing we want to do is get the sauce going. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn some heat on. We're going to turn it to medium to low heat. We're going to put in two whole sticks of butter. This is making the sauce for this. This pasta bowl I'm making tonight is going to have a lovely pasta tunnel of regular pasta with meat and tomato sauce. And it's also going to have this lovely pasta, which is going to be a nice garlic butter sauce. And this is also going to contain breadcrumbs. We're going to add those in near the end, right when we're, what I like to call blanching the vegan pasta noodles. Look, great, do some chef-like stuff now. If you're a chef, you know, you just grab whatever is available. You don't even worry about whether it's a spoon or not. Well, get out what you need, yes. So there's a healthy dose of garlic, minced garlic. Store bought, didn't feel like mince mom. <clears throat> we also want to use some plain yogurt to create our creaminess here. Get you a nice heap of that. In fact, get two really straight on my clothes. This is why I stay at the laundromat, and I should have an apron on. That's what I should have. I just cleaned my stove and floor today. Go figure, right? <sighs> All right. So, you know, we got that going. And we're going to get all of that off. We're not going to waste nothing. My tongs are extremely heat resistant. They are grillers tongs. So they can take a lot of heat. So I know some of you are like, oh my God, they're going to melt. They most definitely are not going to melt. They're not those. Okay. So I'm going to put that back in the, in the uh, fridge there. We're also going to add a generous amount of garlic powder. All right. <clears throat> We are definitely, definitely, without a doubt, going to add some olive oil. <clears throat> and some of this Italian seasoning, the same thing we put on the pizza. That's really what I'm doing tonight is I am using the rest of the tomato sauce from our pizzas that me and my daughter made while making pasta dishes. I mean, we already had the Italian flavor palette going, right? Why not keep it going? I am also on the clock right now for my other job as a web designer and marketer. So I apologize if I'm being a little rude and still answering these messages, but they got to be answered. So. Just want to whisk this. As it cooks, sorry, So just mixing this, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. 
you're going to keep going so it's like really all really well mixed together. If it separates a little, since we are actually going to toss these noodles in here to cook them in just a few days, it's fine. I'm actually going to increase the heat now because we want to get ready to put the, the noodles in. So hopefully you can see what we got going here. Just want to keep whisking and whisking and whisking, trying to keep things mixing together well. And I've decided, because I, I really know, I don't even think, I know it'll just bring so much flavor to the zucchini. We're also going to put in some lemon pepper. Do it to your heart's content. Put in what you feel is right. Everybody's tastes are different. Mix that all in too really well. Like so. I'm gonna to need to salt it a little, but we're not gonna salt it till after we've placed the noodles in and cooked them. We're not gonna salt it like right at this particular moment. We're gonna wait. <clears throat> One second, my dog's being crazy. So get away from that door. Okay, so now it is time to reduce that heat some again. And at this point, we are going to start putting, we just want to put those in and we're going to toss them with some tongs here without burning our hand, hopefully. All right, so I'm going to move you back a little bit so I can do this with enough space for myself here. Just want to like saturate these, get all that good, that good uh, sauce on them. Coat them really, really nicely. Only thing I hate about vegetable vegan noodles is that they tangle so bad. Look crazy how badly they tangle. But we're gonna mix this up really well. Try to anyway, right? Might not be the easiest thing in the world, but keep going till you get it. Keep it going till you get it. And then you're gonna cover them up just so they can steam in this for a little bit. Just for a little bit. You wanna like get them so they can steam, right? So we're gonna cover that real quick. If I can find a lid, it's always an experience around here finding a lid. Here we go. Just want to steam them for a few. Just real quick. Not a long steam. We're steaming this as quickly as we can. This whole process probably shouldn't take more than five to six minutes depending on what level of tender you want your zucchini. And I will be back in a few minutes just to show you what it looks like all plated. So just so you can see what I'm doing here. We've got one of what I like to call the tunnels created here for the pasta. <clears throat> Let me move this lid real quick. It's always an adventure when you have a kitchen with not nearly enough space for what you're trying to do. All right, so we've got that going, right? So what we're gonna do next is, <clears throat> Carefully, you're going to grab some of your sauce and spoon that on there. Like so. I'm going to tissue and clean up my presentation because that is important. You do not want a messy, ugly plate. We want this to be beautiful when you serve it to people. So just clean it up as well as you can. Looks pretty good.
And on this, we are then going to sprinkle some Parmesan. I have fresh, but we're not going to do all of that tonight. So you see that there. with me folks trying to find parsley i got a new bunch today but i don't know where it is so we're going to use the one that we do know where it is right now and you just want to add some color there to that like so some of that water is starting to run there's not going to be much we can do about that so in my mind anyway <laughs> I feel like our zucchini pasta should be just about done. So now we're gonna grab some of that and make some magic happen. Looking for the top to my other pot here. All right, just like this, we we'll gonna cover that up. We are gonna turn this heat off here. You can't see it, but I'm tossing these around again. Tossing them around pretty good here. And now what we're gonna do is kind of change positioning of pots and pans here. We're going to move this one back to the stove. We are done with that. I'm telling you, it's an experience when you're just trying to make space. It's crazy. All right. So what we're going to do here, this is pretty cool. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, like, where'd she go? Here I am. So there they are, just so you can see them. Now, I have decided I'm going to make just two pretty twirls of this. Two little heaps beside the other pasta. You might find you also need a knife because <laughs> zucchini is just like kind of stringy. So don't be scared to slice through at your point where you want it to stop. Want to get some of that water off. Use the plate now to finish your twirl. So you got one lovely twirl there. Make sure it stays in position if you're lucky. And we're just going to do one more. So this kind of pasta, if that's what you want to call it, is a lot harder to twirl because it gets very tangled other than like regular pasta. Is. So just be aware of that when you're doing it so you don't get frustrated for no reason if it's not going exactly how you want it right away. All right. So there we have those two beautiful twirls. And then just to give it something, the, these, we're just gonna drizzle some tomato. You wanna make this so pretty if you can. And we can, right? Of course we can. Ah, ah, my tomatoes are trying to just be everywhere where I want them. Give just a little shake of Parmesan to that too. Not too much. Not too much. Mm -mm. Ah, you know what we forgot? We forgot the bread crumbs. I meant to toast these in the sauce, but you know what? We just go do this. Just give like a light drizzle of the bread crumb to it to give it some crunch and some bread. They should have been toasted. I admit that. I own it. Should have been toasted. Let's bring it down lower. You can't really see. There we go. And then the last thing you're going to do, the absolute last thing you're going to do is just some parsley. Just drizzle that. Make your plate pretty, guys. And that is really it. So I'm gonna get some pics of this and then I'm gonna make my daughter's plate. 
here we go here is the regular pasta with meat sauce topped with fresh parsley along with our zucchini pasta topped with crunchy breadcrumbs tomato and this is a butter yogurt and garlic sauce and garnished with cherry tomatoes look how good that is the plating is divine isn't it just look how pretty that is other than just getting that on out of there <laughs> normally i'd use a rag folks but this is going to be my plate more than likely so but there you go